Hey, hey everyone, so welcome. Um, I'm going to show you something that I got. Now, I used to make cards and I used to make, uh, well, do scrapbooking. Um, but I haven't done it in a really long time. But I also did it the old school way, you know, with the decorative scissors and whatnot. Um, but I finally broke down and bought myself one of the cutting and embossing machines. Some people say embossing. I don't get embossing, but embossing makes more sense to me. So, however y'all want to say it, tomato, tomato. Anyhow, so, I finally broke down and bought one. It's a Bria, but it says sunlit, so I'm a little confused about that, because I bought a Bria. Yeah, better. So, this is the basic kit um, for the 9-inch. Now, you can get smaller ones, but this is the one I got. So, let's open it. Ooh. Maybe. Okay. Without breaking it now, prefer. Oh, I did break it. Okay. Ah. It shall be done. Alright. Let's pull out. So we got our mat. It's got a butterfly. I don't know if you guys can see it. So you got a butterfly. Two heart shapes, one bigger, one smaller, and then you've got um, a smaller circle and a larger circle right here. So, we'll go into more detail here in a sec. We've got some paper, we've got a die, and then we have an embossing, and then we've got our trays. Like I said, we'll go into a little more detail here. Let's pull this out. Okay. So, you've got, and this is what's really neat. On each side, you've got where, um your trays will go, your compressors, mats, whatever y'all want to call them. But if you open it up, you got some little compartments that you can set your um, your dyes in or your embossing. So, cool. Let's see. Oh, I guess it just sits there. It doesn't actually twist. Oh, I don't know if I like that. Okay, well, anyhow, so you got one on this side. And then if you flip it, and there went the handle. You've got one on this side. So really cool. Okay, there's got to be a way of making that a little more permanent. There's nothing, there's got to be a way to make that more permanent. Well, I'll figure it out. Anyhow, so, there we go. Now, let's look. Here it comes with a pamphlet showing you, you know, well, your warnings first. But here, it shows you how to use it. How to do the, okay, this is for the die cut. This is for the 2D emboss, which I'll show you that here in a sec. And then your 3D, which I'll show you those in a little more depth. And then it looks like it just goes into other languages. Yeah, so just different languages, all the same thing. 
cool, cool, cool. Okay, so... I don't know. I think that's really about it. I mean, you've got your... Your basic mats and your... Placers and so... You got it's a nine by thirteen. This is tells you what it's for for steel rule dies only. So it's not the cutting surface. Here is the cutting mat. And then here is your platform. So Awesome, and that's really neat that it tells you, oops, which one is which. So that's really, really cool. All right, so put that inside. So this is for your 3D effect. Okay, so you would take this and run it through. Let's pull out the dies and the um, embossing for your 2D and 3D. Now, for your 3D, you'll use that mask that I showed you, but for your 2D and for your, just your die cuts. So, this is hearts for your die cuts or, you know, your embossing. And then here, well, it could be for, ooh, so sorry. So, this is your die cut. And here's your embossing. Isn't that cute? A bunch of little hearts. So this is a raised heart. Whereas here, if you can see, so it just fits right in. So when you put your paper in and you roll it through, it'll give it... It won't cut the paper, but it'll, like, indent it. Like, it'll force the paper to have this shape, if that makes any sense. So, cool, and then it comes with some black and white paper, card, not, I can't say paper, more like a card stock, so you can feel that, so it's more like a card stock, so you get a few sheets of those, so my first impression, I like it. I'm still confused why it says sunlit when it's supposed to be a Bria. So that's kind of my only confusion. Move you back here a little bit. But I like the color. I do need to figure out why I can't get this. Maybe I gotta lock it. Okay, maybe do that. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Be smarter than the thing, right? There we go. Be smarter than the roller, right? Da, da, da. All right, so there we go. Um, What I'll do is I'll test it out because I do have some other things I do need to do for another video. And then what I'll do, I'll combine them, I guess, kind of in a way and give you my final thoughts. And full review of what I think about this whole kit. Um, and I'll also leave um, a link down below. If you want to check it out now. Um, like I said, I'll, I'll leave a link below. Otherwise, you can wait and see what I really think about it. But right now, it's just kind of my first impression. But I like it. I even like the color. The peach and cream. Yep. Anyhow, so I'm going to let you guys go. I hope you all have a wonderful day or night. And don't forget to hit that like button or down up to you. Um, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And as always, leave me a comment. I absolutely love those. And for now, I think that's it. I love you all. And as always, I... Yeah, now I'm just kind of rambling. As I tell you always, don't forget to always smile. Love y'all. <laughs> Bye.